Casting shadows, the world spinning around again. We all know, but we all pretend. Je vais lever le petit chien, le smoke tuer, et s'il va être un peu là. Et si on a pris, il y en a un peu là. Et bien sûr, votre est parfaitement aligné avec un magique circle de light. Il silence votre phone, so as not to disturb the other guests. Et maintenant, sans plus de plus, je vais vous introduire à vous, all the way de la France, mesurant 6 cm, le plus grand chien, le petit chien. What are you looking at? It's not my fault that I'm so popular. Oh, mon dieu. Another one of these haters commenting on my Instagram. Look at this little man with his squeaky voice, thinking he's so cool just because he's served in a cooking pot. First of all, it is very difficult to serve in a pot if you're only 6 cm tall. And secondly, I'm not just a little man. I'm a chef. And being a great chef is so much more than stirring in a cooking pot. To tell you, I understand where all these jealous comments come from. 
Chefs nowadays pay them so much attention. With all these cooking shows on television, some of them they start to think they are the most important person in the world. Actually, maybe they are right. Because if you think about it, food is the most important thing in the world. Food is what makes the world go hard. If you look at, for example, something simple as salt, did you know that in the past, salt used to attract invaders and even cause war? So, if people go to work out of salt, imagine what they would do in a world without chefs. Oh, let's see. Oh, luckily, not all people are complete at this. It says, how can I become such a master chef like yourself? Hmm, let away. Honestly, I get this question like a million times. To put this to bed once and for all, let me give you five tips on how to become a great chef. Even if you don't know how to cook an egg, by the end of this dinner, uh, yeah, well, probably you will still not be able to cook an egg. What you expect, I'm not a miracle worker. But I'm sure if you pay attention, you'll learn a thing or two. Or at least you'll be able to make an interesting picture for your Instagram. Hashtag most amazing dinner of my life. Hashtag petition so cute. Uh, okay, without further ado, pay close attention. Let's go, numero 1. Three words. History of food. In order to become a master chef, you have to study the traditions and understand where food comes from. Let's take something simple and common as a tomato. Tomatoes don't come from Italy. No, the first tomatoes came from what today is known as Peru. On there, they eventually expanded to Mexico, where they were cultivated by the Aztecs. The Aztecs grew tomatoes on Chinampas, which were floating gardens around their capital city Tenochtitlan. In the 16th century, the Spanish conquistador Don Hernán Cortés arrived in the New World. The Aztec team had got the lead Cortés was the returning Puerta Cato, the Bell Serpent God. But Cortés came out of God and conquered and destroyed the beautiful Aztec city. When they came back to Europe, the protest took tomato seeds with it. So, they started throwing it the poison apple. It's like a fairy tale from Snow White, right? Ah, uh, turns out it was because the rich were eating of silvery fruit plates, and the tomatoes, which are high in acidity, dissolved part of the left from the plate. And so when they ate tomatoes, they got left for a day. Finally, in the 19th century, an Italian chef made a pizza to celebrate the visit of Queen Margarita tomatoes. He made a pizza with three ingredients that represented the colors of the new Italian flag. Red, the tomato sauce. White, the mozzarella cheese. And three, the basic topping. And so the pizza margarita was born, which was so successful that the tomato became a popular ingredient in many different dishes. So please enjoy this ingredient which made such beautiful colors for the different continents. And have a nice evening, you know what I mean? Yes, well, anyways, you can take me later. Bon appetit! How was the love after uh, everybody keep their hands above the table please? Uh, time for our next lesson. This world has known and studied how they use composition, colors, and texture to evoke emotion. I consider the plate as if it is a blank canvas. I usually start sketching my ideas. I even think it's important to think about the color of the table itself. Uh, the what? I remember, when I started cooking, I was really inspired by the Dutch painter Van Gogh. I loved so much how he used big strokes of color.
Merci beaucoup, mes amis. Adieu et au revoir. Monsieur le Président, 